Choosing what to wear is an important part of everyone's daily routine, and for good reason. Your clothing affects how you are perceived. If you want to look respectable and formal, you would wear a suit. However, if you want to be seen as laid back, a t-shirt and basketball shorts would be ideal. There are different clothes for different situations. This extends to the workplace. For any job, there is a certain kind of dress that allows you to perform your tasks most effectively. For example, firemen wear protective clothing, allowing them to enter and exit burning buildings without harm. Surgeons wear scrubs, a type of clothing designed to minimize contamination risks. This is no different in schools. While school employees' dress code is more lenient than that of a fireman or a surgeon, it's still important to facilitate a productive environment in the school for both students and fellow coworkers. A classroom with a poorly dressed teacher is not an environment suitable for learning. The teacher looks out of place and unqualified, and students will not be inclined to give the teacher the respect he or she requires to teach effectively. On the reverse, however. When the teacher is following dress code, the situation changes entirely. Students want to see that they are learning from professionals. They want to see that their teachers can be trusted to provide accurate information. A teacher following dress code shows that he or she takes the job seriously and is respectable. Beyond the classroom, administrators, assistants, and aides must also follow the dress code. This is essential to promote respect between coworkers and a healthy working environment. Teachers dress to teach effectively, just as firemen dress to protect themselves, and surgeons dress to reduce contaminants. Here at the Code County School System, it's important that our school staff members understand the necessity of following dress code. Let's all do our best to create the best school environment for both students and staff.